my vehicle is, is the tool for my job. It's like telling me I can't have my tool belt at home, you know, because I use it only on commercial stuff. A Cape Coral man says he's being targeted by code enforcement. He works for a tow truck company and says he parks his truck in his driveway every single night until recently when he was told he would have to move it or face a hefty fine. For in your corners, Jillian Idle live in the studio tonight. She tells us why the resident says he should be exempt from this city code. Jillian. Amy, you're about to hear from a man who says he's on call at all hours of the day and night and not having his work truck parked outside his front door makes him less efficient. City code prohibits parking any commercial vehicles in residential areas. You're looking at the city code compliance flyer a Cape Coral resident says he was recently given. The red flatbed tow truck must be removed. Brandon Whiteside works for What's Towing On. He says for the past few months he's parked his work truck in his driveway without any problems. And now for the city to tell me that I can't have you know what how I pay my bills, how I make my living, how I pay for this house and everything else. Um, it's like somebody trying to stop you from making a living. Two weeks ago, Cape Coral Code Enforcement let Brandon know he was violating code 3.12.2A. It prohibits parking any commercial vehicle in a residential area. He says his only other option is to pay to park it in a commercial lot, but that would make wait times even longer for those needing a tow. It, I, I work in the middle of the night, so I need access to this vehicle. As, as soon as I walk out my door. A spokesperson with the city says it's an issue that's been brought to council's attention several times, but this has been a city code for more than 20 years, and the only way it can change is through a council vote. It's now a vote Brandon says he's going to push for. And even if it, even if they just make it for, say, you know, 24 hour emergency, plumbers can be 24 hour emergency, electricians can be 24 hour emergency, um, you know, tow trucks, uh, police officers, um, a lot of different officials. And a city spokesperson tells me as far as police cars go, they're considered city vehicles and all city vehicles are exempt from the commercial vehicle code. In the studio, Jillian Idol, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Jillian. And remember, if you ever have a problem that you want for in your corner to look into, you can give us a call or text us. It's 206-FOX-4, or of course, you can email us at news at fox4now.com.